Welcome back on our prayer journey. Today, I'm going to finally finish verse 2 of uh, Luke 11. This is where the disciple came and said to Jesus, teach us to pray. And we stopped at the very first part to identify who the Father is. Now I'm going to read the verse again, and we'll go through it. And he said unto them, when we pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, uh, thy will be done, as in heaven and also in earth. So this is the opening of our prayer, to approach to God. I watch some of these uh, survivalist shows, alone, um, some uh, sur just survive a man. And it amazes me because uh, sometimes they do some incredible things, uh, like build a kayak. I'm not a very handy man uh, with tools, but these people have a knife, a fire, they cut the wood, they form the uh, skeleton of the kayak, they have to do this by heat and water and heat and water to bend it properly. And then they fold over the top that they have and there they have a sailing vessel. This is the same kind of thing that we're doing here. We are taking what God has given us and building our foundation. Jesus is teaching here the building of that skeleton that we're going to put the top over so we can go into open waters. So the first thing I want you to see is, is the relationship, which we've gotten past, or well, hopefully we have. And now we're going to, to see the skeleton and put the meat on the bones. So what is the first thing that we do? Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, this is where our Father reigns. This is the amazing thing about prayer, when you really capture it. Because there are times, in the midst of all the trouble we have going in our nation now, that I leave this earth and journey into heaven, in a sense, right before God's throne. So, the, the visualization and knowing that there's a different realm where our Father reigns. And how do we get into that realm? We recognize who he is. Yes, he's our daddy, Abba Father. But he's also the creator of all of the universe. The creator who desires to have communication with you. The son that desires to have communication with you. The Holy Spirit that makes it able us able to have fellowship with the Father. Does he not enjoy our praise? and our worship. Uh, this is the first step, really, to knowing who God is. He's a friend, but he's much more. We have to pray for his kingdom to come. I don't know if many people realize this, but when you become saved, you have entered into the kingdom of heaven here on earth. One day, you'll be translated to the kingdom of heaven uh, with the Father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. In the meantime, we ought to pray for thy will be done. God's will to be done. That is the focus of our life. You know, it's hard sometimes. I've had times when uh, my daughter, when she was young, was really sick, and uh, I made one of those deals with God when, you know, Lord, if, uh, if you bring her back and, and she's okay, uh, you know, just give me 10 years. Well, I'll tell you, he did. He healed her. And those 10 years came up, I was nervous. <laughs> I was afraid that he would take my bargain. Thank God the Lord did not take my bargain, and he had mercy upon me. But there are things that happen to good people and things I've prayed for that did not come to pass because it wasn't God's will, and I don't want it not to be if it's going to ruin something else. So we ought to pray, thy will be done. We never fail 
and we pray, thy will be done. And the Holy Spirit has a way of lining us up with a desire for God's will. And he gives us the strength to come through when it's not. I have a granddaughter that survived COVID, but from it, she became a type one diabetic. It's a hard thing, but if God had to pick someone, he picked the right one of the children to do it. She is a, such a blessing and uh, takes it like a trooper. It's a hard thing, but I always go with, thy will be done. And that will is to be done on heaven, in heaven and on earth. And we're going to see as we go through here, a lot of that means that we have to learn how to change our behavior. We have to pull back when we don't want to. Now, after uh, our next video, I'm going to read a prayer that I wrote uh, when I was sitting in the hospital waiting for my granddaughter's treatments because of her diabetes. And it was a journey into heaven, in a sense. It, I wasn't physically there, but my spirit was in a way, and I visualized. And so when you ask this question, what are we going to do for heaven and heaven forever? Hopefully, this prayer that I wrote down will give us an idea. Well, until next time, may Jesus increase. And may we decrease. God bless you all.